Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Persona 3 Reload and uh, it's a Sunday today. We got to do the Home Shopping Network. It's Amazing Commodity! Hello everyone, welcome to the Home Shopping Show, Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. I'm your host Tanaka with a live presentation of my amazing commodities. We'll show you great products at unbeatable prices, so don't touch that dial because you won't want to miss these. I'm going to do today it! Today we're introducing part two of the Home Gardening Set. Back by popular demand, we have more seedlings to introduce this good, time. Good. First up, we have the Soul Spinach Sprout, and you get two of them. We recommend making boiled spinach when they've grown. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful, but wait, there's Not more. Bad, kid. We'll throw in this buff potato sprout too. Guess how many? Three. All of this just for 29.80 yen. Um, I mean, it's cheap. I'm guessing it's a better deal than buying it, but like, I feel like we have enough of these right now, but... Eh, you know what? Let's just do it. We're probably going to be doing just soul spinach from here on out, but still. Thanks, kid. But it's so cheap, what does it hurt? Okay. I definitely want to go into town, and I want to check on a certain something at the shrine. And we also need to get these. Okay. So we're going to get our sodas. We'll see if anybody's in the lobby. How's it going, I guess? Excuse me. There seems to be a theory that summer vacation is a measure to protect students from the heat. Despite this, school will resume in September. The temperature on August 1st was 29 degrees Celsius. The forecast for September 1st is 31 degrees Celsius. I have a suggestion. Would it not make more sense for summer vacation to be implemented until October? She's right. All right, school's canceled. Yeah. There are all kinds of people out there, huh? You know those gothic lolitas, right? They still dress themselves up from head to toe in frills, even in this heat? I saw one drawing all this weird art in a notebook. Nah. Felt like she was living in a different world, dude. By the way... Summer vacation is almost over, but I still have some homework left to do. I'll get back to it after a short break. Um, hey... The number of people falling victim to shadows is increasing again. We have to defeat the remaining four shadows, no matter what. You got it, girl. Hmm? That Junpei talking nonsense again? Did the Heat finally finish off his final brain cells? I guess I'll just leave him alone. Dude, what, you're not into goth girls? Come on, Aki, I thought you were cultured. I'm just living my life, hoping to one day be noticed by a goth girl. <laughs> Please. Please let it happen. Someday. Someday. Okay, give me those mad bowls. And give me those fountain dews. Okay, what else do we need to... Alright, Slash Boost and Ice Boost are good ones. Shift Boost is interesting. We did the Invigorate. We'll probably make another one of those, but... Let's do Ice Boost first. Okay. And here it is. Alright. Thin young man. We met him during Maiko's social link. And here he is, finally. He only shows up on Sundays. So every single Sunday, we're going to be visiting this man right here. You. From here on out. Huh? Your eyes are so clear. Your soul must be burning brightly. It seems the young man has noticed me thanks to my impressive academics. This might be my chance to get to know him better. I can't say. The me that I see reflected in your eyes and the real me, if there is one, how far apart are they? 
about arm's length. <laughs> oh, you mean literally. <laughs> Guess you have a point. Oh, that's right. Your words are very beautiful. If I had something to write with, I'd note them down. I have a fountain pen. It uses red ink, blood red. My pen is my supporter, my spokesman, and my friend. However, it seems to have disappeared. Without it, my screams are silenced. The young man seems sad. Apparently his fountain pen is missing. Ooh, I forgot where to even find that. Wait, I think I remember. Okay, so we probably won't be able to start that today then. Fair enough. Um, I think I remember what we need to do. Okay. I think it happens at night. And I'm... Yeah, yeah. I think it happens at night. Okay. In that case, I guess we're going to be hanging out with Hayase. Alright. So, before next Sunday, we need to make sure to find that fountain pen. Yo. Oh, it's you. You look hungry. Or maybe it's just me? Hayase invited me to eat with him. Let's do it. All right. Great, let's eat. Oh, but I'm kind of in a hurry today, so let's just get some takoyaki. doing? <laughs> oh, uh, eating fast is kind of my thing. Why? <laughs> you don't eat quick at my place? My siblings will pick everything clean. Okay, that's why. <laughs> don't worry, your food's safe. Take your time. I mean, while you're here, why don't you savor it for once? Oh, that was almost a personal best for me. Oh, get this. I've got a race lined up at another school. A coach from a big-time athletic college is going to be there. You know what that means? If I do well enough, I might score a scholarship. Well, honestly, that sounds amazing. Right? Then I could keep doing track. I've pretty much given up on going to college. We just don't have that kind of money. And I heard about the chance for a scholarship, so... You can imagine why I jumped on it, right? I'm gonna win this thing and go to college. And maybe... This will make my mom's life a little easier. Yeah, I bet it would. Yeah, you're right. It's a relief to hear you say that. I always think how different things would be if my dad were still alive. If he were here, my siblings wouldn't have to worry about whether or not they get to eat every day. Well, complaining won't accomplish anything. I'm just gonna have to try for that scholarship. All right, our man Hayase, he has um, he has a lot he is uh fighting for. When it comes to track, it seems like uh, yeah, he's got a lot riding on it. Hayase is seriously thinking about his future. He's open up to you about his problems. I feel like we're getting closer. So yeah, another one of the themes that you're going to see a lot of in this game, not only just about death and loss, but also about what people will sacrifice and do for those that they care about. So we are now rank four in the star arcana. Let's go. Shoot, the sale on chicken is almost over and it's my turn to cook tonight. I'll catch you later. Yeah, when you're struggling financially, like eggs and chicken, man, they're a lot more affordable than a lot of other things when you when it comes to protein. I decided to go back to the dorm. That was a, one of my staples in college when I was super, super dirt poor. <laughs> Hello. Hello there, welcome back. If the pattern stays consistent, then cases of apathy syndrome will soon be on the rise. It's a shame since it's your summer vacation, but the shadows don't take breaks. Mm. Yes, what's the matter? Oh, you think that I don't know anything about fashion because I'm a researcher, right? I do. You know nothing about fashion. No, I suppose not. Well, I'll have you know that I am as fashionable as anyone. <laughs> However, my profession keeps me cooped up all the time, so I don't have many opportunities to dress up. Hi, Koro. Don't worry, we're gonna be doing that. 
Okay. Um. Oh, right. Exploring Tartarus and defeating Shadows are both important, but so is doing summer homework. In fact, doing homework may be even more of a priority because of the due date. Exactly. Did you get that, Junpei? Of course I did. Who do you think I am? All right, you got me. I haven't even started. Stop, don't look at me with such disappointment in your eyes. All right. Well, homework is insignificant compared to Tartarus. We must unlock our hidden potential to defeat the evil shadows, you know? Yeah, we have an important mission. Huh? <laughs> I think homework is also an important mission. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure senpai, senpai would agree. Jeez. Uh, Junpei hasn't even touched his homework. He keeps saying that he wants to go to Tartarus instead. Talk about escapism. I get it, Junpei. I do. I get it. Okay. Now, we do have tower tonight, but we're not going to do tower tonight. We're going to take Koromoro on a walk. There's something under Koromoro's paw. Oh, maybe I don't even need to take him on a walk. I could pick it up if I ask Koromoro move to move his paw. Arf. Hey, can you move your paw, bro? Arf, arf. A red fountain pen. Okay, cool. It's a red fountain pen. This must be what the young man at the shrine was looking for. Oh, what a good boy. Sorry, not taking you on a walk. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody. Later in the game, we'll be able to take Koromoro on some walks. But for now, we need to get shit done, so. <laughs> Alright, I have not checked the beef bowl shop lately. Let's do a quick check on the beef bowl shop, see if there's anything we want to buy there. Welcome. Thank you. Nope. Hey. Oh, you're here. You gonna stick around? Mutatsu seems to be drinking by himself. And we're gonna progress today. That's right. Go ahead and have a seat. Oh, there you are. Mm, feeling down today, kid. Mind listening to what this old monk has to say? Why not? I'm already here. Those folks downstairs. They're probably around your age, huh? Eh, a little bit older, but closer, closer to me than you, for sure. It looks like they're having fun drinking and dancing, but... You look closely. Their eyes say otherwise. Yeah, it's called an escape. We do it all the time. We work all week, and then we go out on the weekends and, uh, you know, let the stress just ease out of our bodies. I bet they come here to relieve stress yeah, from the Yeah, there we day. go. But I wonder if any of them are actually enjoying themselves. Stress won't go away unless you deal with the root of the issue. You can put it off, and it'll always come back. This place is more of a refuge than a club to me. Those kids really want to relax. We should switch the music to the Heart Sutra. And... Hey, there's a microphone over there. Bring it over, kid. I'll perform a live sutra reading. Really? Is that supposed to be really in a good way, or really in a don't-do-it way? All right, Mutatsu. I'm just gonna have to do whatever the opposite is of what I think is the right option. I swear to God, dude. <laughs> don't just talk to talk, kid. Say what you mean and get straight to the point. Yeah, you gotta be real with him. Ah, forget it. I don't feel like doing it anymore. It's too late to apologize, kid. Angry old man. <sighs> I've got a kid around their age. I might rewind know? this one. One and only son. He'll be 21 this year. He's a little older than you. He's alive, that is. Doesn't even know, huh? I felt an almost fatherly concern from Mutatsu. Perhaps because he was projecting his feelings for his son. I feel like I understand Mutatsu a little better now. You know what, Mutatsu? Respect. You think it's okay to leave the future of this country in the hands of these kids? I don't have to kiss his ass like I have to kiss like Kenji's ass and Moon Guy's ass. Just tell him how it is and he likes it. <laughs> I mean, what if they all end 
stuff like me. Well, it ain't like I got high hopes for the future. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. Oh, sorry. And form is emptiness. I'm done talking now. Go home before it gets too late, all right? I'll see you next time. I said goodbye to Mutatsu and went back to the dorm. <sighs> you just don't know when to give up, do you? I'll come back as many times as I need to. I don't give up that easy. And my answer will be the same every time. I'm not going back. Actually, we got a new team member. Did you know animals can use personas too? Wait, what'd you just say? He's a dog. He lost his master to the shadows six months ago. And he's incredibly loyal too. Up until now, he's been guarding the spot where his master was killed. It's been rough for him, but he's making the most of it. It's Sonata-san. Huh? Who's he talking to? I wouldn't want to butt in. We saw someone die right before our eyes, too. It'll be two years this October. <sighs> How long are you gonna beat yourself up over that? That's why you're always behind the station. Even though you don't actually hang out with anyone there. Doesn't matter. It was my fault. Nothing's ever going to change that. What does it matter if I come to terms with it? it? Won't change the past. This isn't like it was with your sister. What happened to Miki was different. Shinji. It's over now. So is Miki not actually... a shorthand for Mitsuru Kurijo? Is Miki his sister then? This isn't like it was with your sister. What happened to Miki was different. Miki is a sister. Aki's. Hmm. I just want to forget it ever happened. Two years ago? That's what I get for making assumptions, huh? No way. It's him, so. His name is Shinji. What do you want to, Ken? What are you cooking? The film festival only runs for one more week. Maybe I should invite someone from the dorm to go with me. Not if I have something better to do. <laughs> okay. So, we have the pen so that next Sunday we can start that new social link. We're good there. Now, let's see. I just want to remind myself on my quests. For that, we have to get Topaz. The shrine visits, we're going to do... We have to do it during the day. And I won't be able to do it... Well, I can do it any time, really, but... It's just a matter of, do I want to wait until I have just an open free day where there isn't a social link? That's the question. I might just want to do it, you know? Okay, Maiko's ready to go. Um, let's go check on Moon. I think we got Moon ready to go as well, but maybe not. He's had some weird ones lately, so. Yeah, okay, Moon's ready to go as well. Honestly, I may go do that reading. I'd rather get this out of the way sooner rather than later. Okay. Bring what you receive from praying at the shrine. There is a ritual called a hundred shrine visits that supposedly grants wishes. I would love to witness the miracle of the gods myself. My wish is for a 500 yen bill. Honestly, this may not work the first time we do it. So that's why I saved. 
The sign says relationship fortune 100 yen. Um, okay. So if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna make it useful to us. Emperor is one of the ones that we need affinity for. So, student council. Draw a fortune for Odagiri. I've drawn my fortune. I hope I can deepen my bond. I hear a divine message. Blessings to the believer. I suddenly feel closer to Odagiri. I feel like the bond I have with Odagiri has grown stronger. Today's luck is, and I think here we need to get a 500 yen. You will have a little luck. You will not be significantly lucky or unlu unlucky with money. There it is. The 500 yen coin showed up in my pocket. And I think that means that we fulfilled that request. Okay. Welcome back. All right, so we made it useful for us because Odagiri did in fact need affinity points. Hi, how was your day? Just one more week and then summer vacation will be over. We've been so busy, but I don't think I've ever had a summer vacation that was so fulfilling before. Let's keep having fun with these uh, last few days and try not to let the summer heat bother us too much. The agility of Kurumaru-san's persona is part of its charm. This is most likely because Kurumaru-san is fast himself. I now understand why his walks are so rigorous as well. Um... Can I help you? Mm. Amada-kun seemed a bit lethargic. I wonder, could it be heat exhaustion? Since it's really hot lately. By the way... Summer vacation is almost over, but I still have some homework left to do. I'll get back to it after a short break. Oops. Okay, I wonder if Ken is around town. I kind of want to talk to him. Is he, in his, is, he seems to be in his room. He isn't responding. Okay, can't talk to him today. See if that was what we needed to turn this in. Damn, I don't think it is. Marvelous. I'm looking forward. I may have to look that one up because I don't Here know exactly what I'm supposed to do. You know what? Maybe praying at the shrine is not the fortune readings, but the where you put money. Please paint my powerful yeah, okay. persona a pretty purple. Please paint my powerful. Per hmm, this is harder than I thought. Okay, well, what we did during the day was still beneficial to us. It still is going to help us progress. So I'm not too worried about that, but that wasn't what we needed to do. Okay, so I think we needed to donate money at the main shrine. I guess. Okay. Very well. Alright. Do we have anything here that would help with academics? We can go on a walk with Koro. This would be cooking. If it's Junpei, it's not gonna be academics. <laughs> so reading a book isn't gonna help us. Hmm. Yeah, that one's for courage. Okay, so I guess we're going to be going to, um, what is it, Wakatsu? I think technically we get a little bit of bonus points for doing the arcade thing with academics, but Wakatsu's still pretty damn good. Okay, that one's Charm, so it's Wakatsu tonight. Seafood full course. Omega threes. 
Okay, this one's gonna take a while, so don't expect that to hit six anytime soon. We only barely just hit five, so... And you saw how long it took us to get through five. <laughs> Summer vacation will be over soon. The film festival is almost over, too. Maybe I should invite someone from the dorm to go with me. Yeah. Ah, vernacular. You look bored, now that I can claim any different. I actually want to switch up my workout plan, but the heat is killing me. Sonata seems bored. Should I invite Sonata to the film festival? Okay. Is there a benefit for me to invite somebody to the film festival? I don't really know. Hmm. I promised myself I'd do my homework first, but my room was too hot, so I came out here. My friend's coming to compare notes, so I have to finish. Ugh, sorry, I'm rambling. Just ignore me. Yukari seems busy. I doubt she's in the mood to go to the movies. Hmm. I must file a report with the Kurijo group. The formatting is tricky. I'll have to do some research. She seems busy. Okay. Don't even know where Junpei is. Oh, new recording. Okay, let's watch the video. Violate our friend's trust. Not a big deal. Alright, 8-13-2009, starting playback. Aki this time. Looks like Sonata's room. Ugh, damn it. I still can't stop thinking about what happened in Yakushima. You're telling me I can't carry a conversation any better than Junpei? How can <laughs> I be on the same level as that idiot and his lame pickup lines? Oh, poor Aki. He's having an existential crisis about this. Poor man. I get it, though. Are you able to make others laugh with a well-timed joke? Well, no specific examples come to mind, but I think I at least do that much. Careful, making others laugh and being laughed at are two entirely different things. <laughs> mm. And we were laughed speak at. To you, do you tend to respond with pure logic and reason? This is a common mistake among inarticulate men. Try to consider what the other party is feeling first. <sighs> oh, damn it. I guess they've got a point. Try practicing by imagining you're asking a female friend or colleague to your favorite store. Remember, it's important to smile and have a sense of humor. Huh. Oh, this ought to be good. Um... <laughs> Hey there, uh, what great timing to see you here. Nice one. Off to a good start. You're crushing it? 100%. I got your back, bro. You're doing great. I'm going to, uh, Umiushi. <laughs> Wanna come with? Perfect oh, delivery. Humor. Uh, humor. Yeah, make, make him you laugh. You know the beef bowl place? Yeah. Hey, maybe we could meet up there, huh? I'm trying to be supportive here. Bro, I'm trying to be supportive here. And you come out with a pun? Puns are not humor. Alright, maybe next maybe next time, Aki. I'm sorry, but I tried to have your back here. I tried to like, you know, pump you up. Can't do it. Can't do it. What am I? The chairman? <laughs> Screw this. Go and punch something. The recording ends here. Alright, are we caught up? We are caught up. Okay, cool. Okay, is this Hayase? It's not Hayase. Ugh, which means we're doing moon. Gross. Alright. We don't have to. I think this is what we need. Oh, yep, here it is. Come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to find a 500 yen bill by visiting the shrine 100 times. Well, maybe I should pray before I go. Oh, does this not even take time? So far, there's no sign of my prayer being answered. Maybe I'll try again later. Oh, that makes me so much happier. Okay, so we just need to come back every single day and do this. I hope it's not actually 100 days. 
If it is, I will cry. <laughs> it certainly is not. It certainly is not. What would that be? So if there's like... It'd be like four months worth of coming here every day. <laughs> That'd be like close to the end of the game. So that can't be it. It can't be it. Oh, I see you're back. Okay, let's um... Do a slash boost card. Okay. Oh wait, there's a thing at the dorm. Did you, see, did you all see that? Ooh, could have missed that. Got to be on my toes. Um. Oh, it's Koro. Hey, what's up, guy? Arf. Isn't it hot out here? Kurumaru won't budge. I wonder if there's a reason he wants to stay out here. Maybe I can find out why if I spend some time with Koro. Yeah, let's do it. He's guarding the city. He's a good boy. Kurumaru is eagerly watching all the people pass by. Shogi with the priest. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Oh dear. I'm sorry, but do you mind if I rest here for a bit? Do you want to rest inside? Might be a little cooler. Oh no, no. Here is fine. Down we go. Oof. <laughs> Years are catching up to me. <laughs> Do you live here? In that case, I have to give you my thanks. So thank you for taking Koromaru in as your family. A lot's been going on ever since the priest's accident. To tell you the truth, someone else was willing to take Oromaru in. What was this person like? A sweet and pleasant young lady. Oromaru took quite a shine to her. Only... Well, he'd keep coming back to the shrine gate. I'm not sure what it was, but... It seemed like he had some unfinished business. And after that, no one else was able to take him in. However... He wanted to fight shadows. Now, I take it he achieved his goal then. Yep, he found a group of people who were fighting shadows. That's what he wants to do. He protected the shrine. I see. <laughs> you did well, didn't you, boy? To be honest, I don't really understand any of this. But if you do, then Koromaru must be happy. I believe that Koromaru's bright enough to choose where he wants to be. And that means it must be his choice to be here with you. Be good to each other, will you? We will. All right, I've rested plenty. Get out of your hair before it gets too late. Oh, see, Daisy. Ow, ow, oh. Poor old man, he's hurting his back from carrying too much. Don't worry, we'll help him. We'll help him, Koro. Let me carry your bags. <laughs> That's very sweet of you. I'd like that very much. God, what a good boy. Kurumaru and I walked with the old man back to his place. Oh! <laughs> You're in a good mood, Koro-chan. Did you go for a walk? 
Is this the first time we've seen, um, I guess in her casual wear? Because, like, when she's in the dorm, she never wears, like, her outfits and stuff. You helped? Ah, I see. I believe Koromaru-san wants to thank you. I think it is. He says, let's do it again. I think Koromaru appreciates me. I feel like my charm has increased after helping people, uh, helping people with Koro. I'm already as charming as I can ever be. I'm so charismatic. I'm also badass. I'm only intelligent, though. Not a genius yet. It's almost Koro-chan's dinner time. I'll be preparing your dinner today, Koromaro-san. I hope you look forward to it. I think one of the things that's, like, so satisfying about these games is, like... Life is actually tough out in the real world. So, like... If... If life were like this, where you could just, like, you know, go and do things, and your stats would go up, and eventually you'd just become a genius... I mean, really, it, it is just the dream, right? I love it. I wish it were that easy. We headed in the dorm after Koromaru calmed down a bit. Gamify my life. I want to eat... I want to eat ramen and get more charming or whatever it is. Yeah, the ramen was the charm one, right? <laughs> There's a box on the counter. If I eat fast food, I'll gain more courage. <laughs> Looks like the product I ordered through the shopping program on TV has arrived. Welcome back. Greetings. By the way, during summer vacation, it seems students are subjected to summer homework. From what I have heard, it takes a tremendous amount of mental strength to power through this. Thus, it is only natural that people cannot complete it. Or so Junpei-san says. You're learning a little too much from Junpei. I feel like your data set is going to get corrupted if we do that too much. You gotta be careful about that. Salut. I hate to say this, but the number of the lost is increasing again. You'll want to start getting ready for the next battle. Now that Koromaru's uh, joined us, you may want to consider devising some new tactics. Koromaru seems dispirited. Um, let's see, was it the 28th for this? I think it's the 28th. 27th. We're getting close. Oh? It's finally the end of August. Once school starts back up again, you won't have much time for anything else. If you have anything you need to do, you'd better take care of it now. Okay, we gotta be getting close on this, right? 829, okay. Now what do we have in town? Alright, here's what I'm gonna do tonight. I was looking through the achievements. And one of them you have to harvest um, some stuff that somebody else helped you with. So I may do this with Junpei and have him um, help us with the harvest. Yo, what up? You're taking care of the planters up top, right? Mind if I give it a try? Girls are into slim dudes, right? Might be good to eat some vegetables after all. The quality of the produce might improve if we tend the rooftop planters together. And if this actually is an SP item, this would actually be pretty beneficial. So we're going to do right. it. Sweet, let's get to it. The only vegetables I ever see at the store are plain old ordinary ones. You know those fancy veggies only people like Karijo Senpai would eat? If we could grow something like that, we'd make a fortune, don't you think? Depends on how hard we try. Oh, damn. So you're up for it? Yeah. We gotta dream big. Get rich quick. Let's go. You're pretty good with your hands, so what do you say? Wanna join forces and make a name for ourselves? Well, we should probably get to work before we get ahead of ourselves. I tended the rooftop planters with Junpei. Mm, this is getting really rough on my back. And yeah, my hands are all caked in dirt. 
The extra care is paying off and I can harvest more. Ooh, yes, okay. But for the sake of Junpei's brand name, Luxury Veggies, I gotta keep going. Now, I think that you might get different benefits depending on who did it. At least that's what the... That's what the tutorial kind of made me think. I don't know... I don't know if I read it correctly, though, so... I could be wrong, but, like, I'm wondering if, like, maybe if Mitsuru did it, if maybe whatever the item does is more effective. So, for instance, if, if these are actually SP items, imagine that they do, like, 20 SP each or something. And then you... Tend it with Mitsuru, and... Instead of getting more, like we do with Junpei, maybe they go from 20 SP to 30 SP or something. I wonder. I don't know how I could deal with all this on my own, so let's do this again, okay? So yeah, even though I'm playing this on Steam, the achievements are going to be the same as they are on um, PlayStation. And uh, I've gotten the Platinum for every major Persona game. Uh, I didn't do P3P, um, but all of, like, I did uh, Persona 4 Golden. I did um, Persona 5 and Persona 5 Royal. Let's see, which which other ones have I gotten? I did all the dancing games. I did uh, Persona 5 Strikers. So the point is, is that I've gotten the Platinum on many of those games. I didn't do Tactica, and I didn't do Persona 3 Portable. Um, but I kind of want to try and get it on this one. We'd have to complete the compendium. And uh, yeah, you know, we don't have to talk about it in detail, but just know that that might be a goal of mine. Summer vacation will be over soon. The film festival is almost over, too. Maybe I should invite someone from the dorm to go with me. Okay, we got Yuko and Kenji. Probably not. Sorry, guys. Okay, Elizabeth asked me to find a 500 yen bill by visiting the shrine a hundred times. Yeah, actually visiting that a hundred times would be actually cruel. So if that's actually what we have to do, I'm going to be very pissed. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I don't think that's what, where it's going to go, but... Like, we're going to do it five times, and we're going to that, find that 500 yen bill or something, but that's my hope. Hayase? Hayase. Okay. When you order a pork cutlet, there's cabbage on top. Write a dollar sign on top of it, and I hear your allowance will increase. This girl's got, like, so many little, like... Weird little... What, what is the word I'm looking for? Superstitions? Yeah, I guess it fits the bill. Superstitions. Hey there, Burnek. I was just about to grab a bite. How about you? Okay, let's go, Hayase. Yeah. Cool, let's go. I'm going hard on the meat today. Oh, actually, you go on ahead. Yeah, I'm not done working out yet, but I'll be right there. Sorry, I kept you waiting. You okay? Yeah. Sorry, I guess I need to train more. Whew. It's going. I'm super thirsty. Oh, that was great. I always say food tastes better with a buddy. I used to come here all the time with my teammates, but... I'll come back here with you. But what? You're the only one who says that anymore. Hmm, why? Anyway, they wouldn't come now even if I invited them. I don't really get along with people who don't take the sport seriously. Oh. I started training at different times. Nothing's organized anymore. I used to love it there, you know. I spent all my time on the track, 
practicing and training. We all loved track and had so much fun together. But then, ah, never mind. It doesn't matter. We're too different, them and me. I mean, for them, it's just something that they do for extracurriculars. Maybe it's just for fun for them. For him, it means everything. It's like literally his way up in the world. I'm going to reach heights they never will. I have to. And so if he's trying to put that on other people, I can see why they wouldn't like gel with it. They'd be like, dude, chill out. We're just here to have a good time. You're taking it a little too seriously. Ayase is really passionate about a sport. I feel like we're getting closer. Rank five and star. Sorry, that that was a weird conversation. I think I'll do lunges the whole way home. You keep at it too. No slowing down. I decided to go back to the dorm. Welcome back. It really does get very hot in the dorm. Maybe it won't be so bad if we think of it like a sauna. Summer vacation will end soon, and school will resume session. This poses a problem. I will not be able to stay by your side when you are at school. That is worrisome. What should I do? <sighs> There's going to be a full moon soon after vacation ends. Prepare yourself for it. We still only have one person who's missing right now, right? Hopefully Elizabeth will call us soon about more people going into Tartarus. That's such a funny thing to say. Hey, I hope Elizabeth calls me and tells me more people go missing, but... <laughs> it's true. I can't go into Tartarus until more people go missing, okay? By the way... Uh, Monokun's only supposed to stay at the dorm for the summer, right? I guess that means he'll be heading home soon. Even though he wasn't here for very long, it's still gonna be sad to see him go. By the way... Dude, Amano wasn't looking so good. I think he's got heat exhaustion, poor kid. Kids his age should be outside, playing, you know? Have some fun, build up some stamina. Isn't that right? Well, just because it's hot out doesn't make it a reason to skip the training. So for Tartarus, if you're going to go, give me a shout, all right? Well, I... I always thought there was something I had to do. The more I thought about it, the more hesitant I became. But I've made up my mind. The next chance I get, I'll do it. Yes. I'll get it done for sure. All right? Kids got some drive? You okay, Koro? Why you whimpering? There, does that fix your problem? He seems dispirited. Okay. Okay, what are we doing tonight? Alright, so nothing in town. There's actually nothing here too, so I guess we're gonna work on academics. Um, let's check the arcade first. We should always check the arcade first. Because if that one's academics, I think that one's the most efficient affinity gains. Okay, it's there. Let's do it. So somebody in my comments did confirm that each of the affinity points that you see can hold up to two. So basically when you only see one stat note, that can be either a plus one or a plus two. If you see two, that can be a plus three or a plus four. And if you see three, it can go up to a plus five. I wasn't able to confirm that even though like I remember that from Persona 3 Portable. I tried looking it up and couldn't find any solid confirmation, so... Um, you know, this is a little bit of hearsay, but I think it's accurate. It makes sense within the world of the game, especially when you see things like, um, Wakatsu, where, um, the one option gave us two points, and then the one that cost a little bit more that you could get access to later still only showed two. So, I'm guessing that one of them was a plus three, one of them is a plus four.
and I believe that the arcade ones are always plus fours. So, those ones tend to be pretty efficient. Yeah, Nozomi, you always have an emergency. And you always suck. <laughs> Alright. Let's do shift boost, then we'll do growth, and then we'll see about what else we want to do. Getting another invigorate would be good, the invigorate two that we have. Go to the shrine. The air around me is shifted. There's an unfamiliar scrap of paper in my pocket. 500 yen! It looks like my prayers were answered. I should let Elizabeth know. So the 500 yen bill, is that kind of like the $2 bill in America, where it's like, they don't really, they're super uncommon? That must be the case. Good day. Are you accepting a request? All right, I did it, girl. Let's hear the result. It seems you've completed a request. One moment, please, while I check. Oh, what's this? I sense a strange power emanating from that bill. I thought it would have taken months and years to complete the hundred shrine <laughs> visits, but perhaps it is not the number of visits that matters, but the strength of your wish. Please take this as your reward. Lime swimwear. Yeah, I'm guessing that that's probably the swimsuit that Fuka wears. Hers is the lime. Yeah, I think hers is lime colored. Sure. <laughs> we'll go with yeah. Did you need anything else? Very well then. I'm trying to remember if any of the guys had lime swimwear. <laughs> yeah, Yukari, we'll stop being disrespectful with the battle panties. <laughs> And we'll start being disrespectful for Fuka. Only for a short time. And then we'll go back to the C's uniform, which honestly is super cool on Fuka. I freaking love the C's uniform. It's so good. Yep, just the one still. Okay. Let's make sure this isn't Hayase. Alright, fine, Nozomi. I guess we'll hang out with you today. Hey. Could you hear me out? My stomach is crying in sorrow, but that's not important right now. Yes! Uh, I'm not here to eat today. I'm here because I wanted to talk to you. been doing so well lately, you know? And it's all because of your blasphemy. I'm not stopping, bro. I baked so hard for your soul that I think I actually lost weight. Look at me! I'm paper thin now! Moving on. You do look thinner. Oh, you really think so? I eat the same amount of food, though. No affinity for that? Alright, whatever. You're embarrassed to be seen with me, right? Yeah, not but not for the reasons you think. Not smart or athletic. And I have weird stubby legs. And my pants are covered with food stains. I'm just a thorn in everyone's side. They all wish I could be more like my little brother. All they do is make fun of me. I just want this whole world to disappear. But the world can't end yet. Not until I save you first. Look, I can try harder. I just need to make it to paradise. That should solve all my problems. I'll be taller and more slender, and my body will glow. So I'll be safer at night. See? Then I won't be inferior to my brother. Then you won't hate being seen with me. So please, don't abandon me. 
I feel a strong connection with Suimitsu. Rank 8 in Moon. I have to go, so I don't have time to eat today. I haven't earned forgiveness just yet. And I have to find a new member to recruit soon. That was him just now. So can handle it. Yeah, all I gotta do is rough him up and I get paid. You know, I've got this buddy who's kinda strapped for cash too, if you catch my drift. Fine, you both get paid. Just make sure you finish the job. Huh? Oh, it's you. 132,000 yen, right? That's the same trick he used on my son. If you know what's good for you, I'd stay the hell away from him. I don't know, part of me thinks that I should let it happen, you know? I won't, but part of me... You know, my shadow wants, wants it to happen. <laughs> the shadow in me. <laughs> I decided to go back to the dorm. I see you're back. It's a pain dealing with this heat every day, but it's actually a good temperature for exercising. The sympathetic nervous system gets more active in heat, and muscular blood flow increases. It's perfect for training, so if you're going to Tartarus, I'll go with you. Excuse me. Summer vacation will end soon, and school will resume session. This poses a problem. I will not be able to stay by your side when you are at school. That is worrisome. What should I do? That was the same dialogue. Why were you blue? By the way... Dude, Amada-san... Uh, Amada-san wasn't looking so good. I think he's got heat exhaustion, poor kid. Kids his age should be outside playing, you know? Have some fun, build up some stamina. By the way... Amada-kun's only supposed to stay at the dorm for the summer, right? I guess that means he'll be heading home soon. Even though he wasn't here for very long, it's still gonna be sad to see him go. Still dispirited, huh? Poor guy. Oh. It's finally the end of August. Uh, once school starts back up again, you won't have much time for anything else. If you have anything you need to do, you'd better take care of it now. Did I, like, rewind something? It's all like the same dialogue I already got. Why were they all blue? Okay, yeah, we didn't get enough affinity points last time, so... <laughs> Not gonna progress today. Oh. Your head's actually a mop, huh? Just soaks up everything I tell ya. I feel... I can feel my bond with Mutatsu grow stronger as we spend time together. I head back to the dorm. It's me. Sorry for interrupting, but do you have a moment to talk? You right there? Good morning. The chairman is visiting again tonight. When the time comes, let's all meet up in the command room. I'll see you then. Okay. Well, I think this is where we're going to end this episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlado 101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba 90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot 27, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, Anna Kate the Great, The Blue Electric Cat, Emily Kuzanoa, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.